see behind me the first of two generators that we brought in last week through a journey across town uh, that's in place now to produce almost 10 megawatts of power which is enough electricity to power not only the hospital but the entire surrounding area. In fact it will be coupled with another generator that will produce a total of about 20 megawatts of power and serve the load that this substation carries. And all of us will sleep a little easier at night when a hurricane's coming or a catastrophe might be uh, imminent for our area because we'll feel comfortable that we can power this most critical area of our community. We had to come through town with the engine and because of its weight, it's 150 tons, 300,000 pounds, a specialty hauling company had to bring in the truck behind me that's 300 feet long to move the engine from the rail siding off of Roberts Avenue to the construction site at the substation. We do it at night to minimize the traffic and community impacts. It's not just a truck driving through town. We had to have the Tallahassee Police Department providing escort. We had some of our linemen out in our traffic uh, field operations staff to make sure that there weren't any issues with the traffic signals and clearing the traffic signals or wires being down in the way. It was a large team effort to get to work with the contractor to get the engine to this point. These generators really represent the next major milestone in our journey and in our energy future in Tallahassee. Um, Tallahassee's always been very progressive uh, in, in our folks' energy, making sure we're efficient, we're environmentally sound, and these generators represent that future. We're excited that they will be online before the next hurricane season to bring about that enhanced reliability and to complement a solar program that's growing rapidly. So we're looking forward to uh, later this year and we will all be very comfortable as that next hurricane season approaches.